Hello and welcome. Uh, this is Mark from Motomarkey and uh, thanks for coming along to the channel. Um, I'm doing something a little bit different today um, in the past where I've actually been in front of the camera and I've been uh, chatting away. I hadn't actually intended to do anything this time but I went out for a run and I was GoProing it anyway so um, I thought I'd maybe publish this and do something a little different as I said. You'll notice me going around the corner there just a, a little bit gingerly. It's not that the weather is particularly awful. Um, it's just more so just down to the, uh, the the road surface. You'll see there's a lot of runoff and uh, muck on the roads there. And worryingly as well, um, in the sunlight, um, a little further on, I could see sort of the pooling of the diesel um, on surface water um, and in puddles. So it, it probably is uh, fairly sensible to be careful going around the corners carefully here. Um, as we head along this road, one of the first areas we come along to on the left hand side is a place called Castle Espy. Now it's a wetland area which will attract a lot of birds, uh, especially over the winter. Um, the of particular note is a breed of birds uh, called um, the Brent Goose or the Brent Geese uh, and they come in from Canada and Greenland around about this time of year um, where I guess they enjoy our temperate climate before moving on, and I gather we get one of the biggest populations uh, of that uh, breed coming here. So further along this road on the left hand side we come to Nendrum Monastery uh, which can be found on Mahi Island and it can be reached from the mainland through a series of interconnected uh, causeways. At this location there's an old ruin of a church um, and a sundial that has been placed there found in between uh, three concentric uh, dry stone walls. Um, it's considered to be one of the finest examples of pre-Anglo-Norman heritage sites um, on the island of Ireland at this stage. Worth checking out I'd say. If you look here on the right hand side you'll see one of the traditional British telephone boxes. You often don't see many of them around anymore. In fact you'll often get people purchasing them and putting them in their gardens. And often they're sold off for scrap. So we're just getting a nice view on through the village here. It's an attractive looking house. A lot of the houses in Ireland are rendered and painted white. Oh, there's the police. Not often you see the police out and about in the rural country roads, especially on a Saturday morning, but uh, obviously calls to be there. I see there's a few people out and about uh, doing their things, cyclists, dog walkers. Come on to a bit of high ground here, you'll maybe catch a glimpse of Strangford Lock on the left hand side. This area uh, is part of Northern Ireland called County Down, um, and something that makes it quite distinctive are rolling hills, and we call them drumlins. Um, they were created um, a long time ago through, as a result of glaciers moving through the area, but uh, these small dome like hills um, that punctuate the landscape throughout this area. Easy if you're on a motorbike and less fun if you're on a push bike. One of the things I do like about um, this particular style of bike is that it sits you up quite high, so you sit quite proud um, on the road. And you'll sort of see the height of the hedges here. Um, it just gives you that little bit more of a viewing advantage, where in other bikes you'd probably be sort of head down, bum up, um, 
you wouldn't be sure of seeing what happens. So I think this is a, a useful feature of the adventure bikes in Ireland. So as we continue along our journey now, I want to tell you about our next stop, which is going to be the Ballydorn Lightship. Now this is an iconic red vessel, which many people know uh, and associate with Strangford Loch, and it is the home of Down Cruising Club. Now back in 1968, uh, the Commodore Bob Blin, his father-in-law spotted the ship for sale. Um, its last post um, was at the mouth of the River Blackwater in Wexford, which is at the very southeast of the island of Ireland, and it was being sold for £1,800, and it was part of an auction. So the club managed to raise this money um, through a series of loans and uh, donations, and they set off to win the bid. Sadly, they lost to Hammond Lane Foundries, which would suggest that the vessel was maybe about to be sold off for scrap and melted down. When the Commissioner of Irish Lights heard this, uh, they stepped in and they petitioned the foundry uh, to see if there was nothing could be done because the vessel was going to be uh, restored and, and kept in, in good order. Uh, and just due to the craftsmanship and the workmanship and everything of this vessel, they, they thought it was a, an opportunity uh, that couldn't be missed. So as part of the negotiation anyway, the ship was sold on happily to Down Cruising Club for a profit of £50. And who knows, maybe a couple of bottles of Blackbush were included in the sale as well. So there's a lot to see in this small area and the next place I want to take you to is Skedrick Castle. Now it's not much to look at now, uh, as sadly a great storm in 1896 pretty much finished it all off. Uh, you can still see that it's four stories high, um, it did have a boat bay and interestingly there was an underground passage that lay undiscovered up until 1957. Um, on the left hand side uh, you'll see the remains of what was a defensive wall and it's known as a bomb. Now there's some disagreement uh, about when it was built uh, but most agree that it probably dates back to the late 12th century making it uh, Anglo-Norman. So this uh, next uh, place that we're about to approach is somewhere that holds very fond memories for me. It's called Ballymorn Bay. Uh, and as a youngster, I spent a lot of time in this area with my grandparents. 
and certainly as a teenager there's nothing I enjoyed more than to come down to this part uh, of Strangford Loch of an evening uh, when the moon was shining and the tide was up full. I would just sit on the end of the pier and dangle my feet over it and stare at Conley Island in the distance. They were wonderful days.
So that's us now back from our run around the eastern coast of County Down. Now in these closing scenes, normally Mercer the motorbike will be with us, but sadly she can't be here today because she's away getting a little bit of heart surgery. She's getting her valves looked at. But uh, next time she'll be back and we'll be fighting fit and uh, heading off somewhere different. So if you like what you saw here today, please give me a big thumbs up, subscribe down below, and we'll catch you real soon. All the best.